Praise the Lord. Good morning and welcome to the sunrise with Jesus. Friends, suppose I were to present this idea of writing obituaries for people while they are yet alive. Would it sound too crazy to you? The fact is, we humans have certain strange behavior patterns. We are so good at offering beautiful eulogies of appreciating the value of a person, of recognizing and recalling the best in them, but only when they are gone. While it would be so much better for the people around us and even for ourselves, if we could remember, recall and celebrate the people God has given to us, even while they are here with us. Friends, today we are going to look at regret, the bitterness, the sadness caused by certain lost opportunities that were so precious. From our experience, we know this to be so true that prevention is better than cure. And I'm sure so many of us have heard this repeatedly from our parents that there is no point in crying over spilt milk. It is understandable that there is so much of pain, especially because we were not vigilant when the milk had time to spill over, when opportunities and precious opportunities passed us by only because of our wrong decisions, our failures, our lack of vigilance. And yet, in Christian life, there is no space for regrets. Even the worst of mistakes can be set right when we turn in true repentance to God. And we see the clear example of two men who were broken by regret. Judas regretted so much for what he did against his master, Jesus, that he would go and end his life in a most tragic manner. Yes, Regrets can stick with us for eternity. But on the other hand, we see Simon Peter weeping with bitterness for having denied Jesus. And yet, he's granted this great opportunity to turn back to Jesus and set right what went wrong. Yet, scripture reveals to us that hell is a place inhabited by those who have been crushed by regrets. Jesus tells us that in hell, there will be weeping and frustration, weeping and the gnashing of teeth, people who are condemned to regret forever. And the one regret of everyone in hell is this, the failure to have loved. Several opportunities came their way while they walked this earth several opportunities to love and they shunned it each time. Jesus reveals in that teaching on the last judgment that those who were sent to hell, who would be thrown to hell, would be those who have failed to love the Lord. The Lord who came in the form of those who were weak, who were the least, who were despicable. Matthew chapter 25 verses 41 onwards Jesus says I was hungry but you gave me no food I was thirsty you gave me no drink I was naked you never clothed me I was a stranger you never welcomed me I was ill I was in prison but you did not care the sin that cast humans into hell was that they did not care. You did not care for me. Friends, let those words of Jesus echo in our hearts. Jesus says, whatever you did not do for the least of my brethren, you did not do for me. And who are the least of the brethren? Yes, the poor, the hungry, the naked, the prisoner, the stranger, those whom we encountered in our day-to-day -day life, but we did not even bother to look at because they were irrelevant to our lives. And mind you, 
These were not just those whom we passed by on the roads, on the streets we walked, but they could be living in our very homes. It could be that aged, nonsensical parent or grandparent. It could be that nagging, boring spouse. It could be that rebellious or trying teenager. Yes, it is these who are the least of the brethren whom God brings our way. Friends, we have missed God. God who is in our midst because God takes the most ordinary of forms. We see in the Gospels, it presents for us so brilliantly. In John chapter 1 verse 10, we are told, He was in the world. The world was made by Him, but the world knew Him not. While He walked His earth, no one recognized Him. Moreover, as Jesus would most poetically present this in Matthew chapter 11 verse 17 we read how Jesus says we played music but you did not dance we sang a dirge but you did not mourn he was referring to how John the Baptist the great prophet of God awaited by the people passed their way but they would call him a demoniac Jesus the Messiah would come on this earth and they would still find fault with him and call him a glutton. Friends, I have before me this very deep experience. As a child, one of my classmates' father had passed away. And when we went to their home, we realized the depth of sadness was so great because that morning, that little boy and his father had a conflict and there was a big argument. And at the end of it, the child was so hurt, he walked away from the house, walked away to his school without turning back to heed the father's call. The last he heard of his dad was his dad calling out to him by name saying, come back. Well, that afternoon, his dad collapsed at his workplace of a heart attack. And through the years, the deep pain of this boy was this that he did not make things right while it was time. Friends, this is a very painful regret, especially when we realize we have not offered that love. We have not been just, we have not been gentle with those who lived with us, who passed our way. So today, let's do something very precious. I'm not asking you to write an obituary, but write a letter. Call that person, give that encouragement, speak reconciliation, build the bridges and love recklessly today because in love we can never make mistakes. The first letter of Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 13. And uh, many times this reading is chosen when someone is uh, getting ready, putting their, their ceremony for, for marriage together. And they choose this one many times. And here is the reading. And the gift of love. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I'm a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have a prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I'm nothing. If I give away all my possessions, but if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I have nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful, or arrogant, or rude. It does not insist on its own way. 
It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now, Faith, hope, and love abide. These three, and the greatest of these, is love. If we only have love, then tomorrow will go. In the days of our years, we'll rise on that moor. If we only have love, then to embrace without fears, we will kiss with our eyes, he will sleep. Without tears, if we only have love with our arms open wide, then the young and the old will stand at our side. If we only have love. Love is falling like rain, and the parched desert earth will grow green again. If we only have love for the hymn that we shout, for the song that we sing, then we'll have a way out. If we only have love, we can reach those in pain. We can heal all our wounds. We can use our own names. If we only have love, we can melt all the guns and then give the new world to our daughters and sons. If we only have love, then Jerusalem stands, and then death has no shadow. There are no foreign lands. If we only have love, we will never bow down. We'll be tall as the pines, neither heroes nor clowns. If we only have love, then we'll only be men, and we'll drink from the grave to be born once again. 
then was nothing at all but the little we are we'll have conquered all time all space the sun and the stars As we gather in this place today Holy Spirit, come and have your way, have your way. As we lay aside our own desires, sweep across our hearts with holy fire. This is your house, your home. We welcome you, Lord, we welcome you. This is your house, your home. We welcome you today. This is your house, your home. This is your home. This is your house. Your home. Your home. We welcome you. We welcome you today. As we gather in this place this morning. As we gather in your presence, O oh God. This is our one prayer. Come into our lives. Sweep across our hearts with your holy fire. Come Holy Spirit, for we are yours, O God. Let's invite the Holy Spirit, the God who stands knocking, knocking at the door of our heart. Let's stretch our hands out to him and tell him, Lord, have your way. Come Holy Spirit. As we offer up our hearts and lives, let them be a living sacrifice. Have your way. Have your way. Be glorified, O oh God. Be glorified in everything we do. Be glorified. Be glorified in everything we say. Have your way. Have your way. This is your house. I am yours, Lord. This is your house. Your home. We welcome you. We welcome you. Lord, we welcome you. This is your house. This is your house. Your home. Your we welcome you. We welcome you today. This is your house. Your home. Your home. We welcome you. We welcome you. Lord. Lord, we welcome you. This is your house. This is your house. Your home. Your home. We welcome we you. Welcome Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come Holy Spirit, come Lord. Abba Father, we praise you. Abba Father, we adore you. Oh Father, we are yours. Lord Jesus, we love you, Lord. Lord Jesus, you are the Savior. Oh God, you have saved us, Lord. And we belong to you. Oh Lord, we praise you and we adore you. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your Holy Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit, sweet Holy Spirit, 
we love you holy spirit you are the joy of our hearts you are the courage of our spirit praise you god hallelujah 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 let us praise god let us praise god for he dwells our god is enthroned in our praises we welcome him we enthrone him with our praises hallelujah hallelujah come lord we need you lord we praise you lord we adore you god thank you jesus thank you jesus praise your holy spirit lord we adore you god oh god today we welcome you we have so many prayers oh god we have asked you for everything but this morning lord over and above all things we want you in our lives we want to love you you who are the giver of all things we want you god to enter our homes to enter our work to enter our every waking moment oh god we want you to enter our wounds to enter our tears we want you to enter every secret of our life Oh God we want you to enter our anxieties we want you to enter our hearts Oh God we want your holy spirit we want you to fill us with your holy spirit oh God that we will be able to say it is no longer i who live but God you who lives you who moves you has your being in you oh god i want this body of mine to be your throne to be your temple oh god and this morning this morning as i come to you god i celebrate your love i celebrate your faithful love your faithful love where you can never stop being my abba as i throw myself into your arms as i sing of your faithfulness oh god may your spirit fill my heart anoint me god Oh God I ask I seek I knock as we sing together great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness oh God my father there is no shadow of turning with thee thou changes not Thou changes not thy compassions they fail not as thou hast been the forever will be great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness more have needed all i have needed thy hand hath provided great is thy faithfulness lord unto me great is thy faithfulness lord unto me let us kneel down as we receive the blessing praising god glorifying him for his great mercy great is thy faithfulness oh 
The ministry of the Divine Retreat Center needs your support as they continue in their commitment to preach the good news of Jesus through the weekly retreats, the daily online and television ministry, through the service of 3,000 disadvantaged persons, the mentally challenged, the aged, the destitute women, the sick and abandoned and economically disadvantaged families. If you are inspired to share in this ministry through the sacred service of almsgiving, we invite you to send your love offering to Divine Charitable Trust CD account number 0402231. 0000014 HDFC Bank Chalakudi Branch IFSC Code HDFC 0000402 and email the details to Divine Retreat Center at gmail.com.